My name is Aaron Cotton, and I am the owner and operator of Dry Event Superheroes of New Orleans. My name is Sophia Giordano Scott. I am the co-owner and business manager of Dry Event Superheroes of New Orleans. Today, we're going to look at how to clean out a dusty dryer vent. The main thing that gets basically conglomerated in the vent pipes is a lot of either dead skin cells, pet hair, children's glitter, regular hair, just dust, dry detergent, anything that can stay and stick on our clothes that can come off in the wash. The worst is always going to be any pet clinics. You're cleaning towels daily and you're not just cleaning towels, but you're cleaning towels full of pet hair, which is usually thicker and coarser and sometimes more oily than um, human hair. The metal brush not only breaks it up, but it kind of catches as well. So it caught all that hair and you can see as I pull it out, it's just almost a whole dog that it seems yeah. like I pull out. It was literally just mounds of hardened pet hair and lint inside all the way to the exit. And then that exit had about four feet of bird's nest just compacted at that end because there was no vent cover on the end. It was just an open tube. So it took us about two hours to clean the vent in entirety, get everything out. We scoped it with our little camera about six times, trying to make sure we got every little piece out of there. As the lint just gets stuck in there and it builds over time, the heat can't get out, so the heat just stays there just and it and accumulates right there and it condenses. And that's actually how a fire will start. Part of our inspection when we first go in is to make sure, is this vent connected within the wall? We only use these types of vents. They are metal, but also flexible, but they're the only type of connection hose vents that can actually contain a fire as opposed to the foil vents. If you look on the back of your dryer, most dryers will say, don't use a foil vent. And most people just don't read that warning. We get behind the dryer and we take the metal tube that's behind the dryer and we take it off and we inspect to make sure that uh, the inside is either dirty or clean because you either want to clean it out or replace it. The second step would be to put our rods with the brushes into the wall with the camera. We can see inside the wall of what's going on and the customer can see as well of either how dirty or how clean it is. You can definitely tell almost how long it's been because if it's only been like a year or two, maybe like a little or nothing at all. But when we're getting to like the three to five years or plus, you're getting literal mounds of stuff that's coming out. You know, it's almost like from a molehill to a mountain of stuff that you're getting out and you're like, wow. It gets yeah. really gross if it's, if it's 10 plus years. So after we inspect it and see how dirty it is, then we take our brushes with our rods. So that goes inside the wall and our drill basically just cleans everything out. We call this the vent polisher brush. It has this metal teeth at the end. So when that goes through your vent, that's gonna polish your vents as well as clean it. So it's gonna make it even harder for lint to stick in the future. When we take our Hub & Filter vacuum cleaner, we make sure that no dust gets in the air for either us or the customer to breathe in. No cleaning solutions or chemicals, just the, the brushes and the Hub & Filter vacuum cleaner really does the job. And then once all that's done and clean, we turn towards the inside of the dryers. We uh, get all the lint that might've been stuck in there. We uh, go back and we take our aluminum tube here and we put everything back from the wall to the dryer. We do use heat safe tape on all of our repairs or connection hoses. We do also use clamps. The reason why we use both is because you want your dryer vent to be able to be unhooked every year and cleaned. And we push the dryer back and then we check under the lint trap we definitely found a lot of weird stuff coming from the dryers, especially under the lint trap. I've had one employee, as we were cleaning, he pulled out a whole silver chain. I found money, uh, like $5 and a couple $1 bills. And then of course we get the not so fun stuff, bird eggs and wasp nests. That's usually towards the outside of the house, not like in the dryer itself. Also storm damage. Whenever we have a bad storm, hurricane, and um, something gets impacted in the vent or the roof comes off or something, you're probably going to get water in your vent, in which case you need a professional to come and take that out because it's going to be really nasty water mixed in with all that lint. So we've had uh, multiple customers tell us, I've been in this house for over 10 years and I haven't even thought about cleaning it out. And they're like, why are my clothes still wet? 
lot of the times it's not your dryer it's in fact that the line is just clogged up with all the lint and hair and everything the most important thing to do with keeping up your dryer vent is definitely to get that annual professional cleaning but um, in addition to that cleaning your lint trap with every use is the biggest one i would say the most satisfying is leaving with the customers all happy and smiling and knowing that they're safe, uh, that their house is safe and that their product is going to work as they want it to.